As the daughter of one of South Carolina's first families, Angelina Grimke lived in almost unimaginable luxury. In the 1820s, Charleston's aristocracy was one of the wealthiest societies on earth. But Angelina found it almost unbearable, an empire of sin. The story goes that each of them in the family had their own personal slave behind them when they ate dinner. And if the salt and pepper were next to the person sitting next to you, you didn't ask them to pass it. Your slave got it from his slave and gave it to you. There was nothing that you had to do, that there wasn't a slave who took care of it for you. Did you hear last night? Hear what? Really? Angelina, what are you talking about? Oh, you know. Henry, he, he, he whipped John again. I told you before, dear. That's Henry's business. Angelina attacked slavery, not in the beginning because she cared about the slaves. It is Henry's business. You know she was really you concerned about the fate of their white masters. I ask you to leave him alone. He's my brother. Yes, I know. She believed slavery was a sin and that God would punish people who had slaves. Mother, it is my duty to bear testimony Angelina, against Angelina, mind your own business. It is my business, that? and it's your business, too. Let How can you stand in church you every let week? it be. I can't let it be. Have you no Christian feelings? Yes, Angelina, I have Christian feelings, and you are putting them to the test right now. My soul will be judged by the Lord and not by you or anyone else. It is my duty. It is not your duty, Angelina. I'm glad, I suppose, that you are so diligent about your faith. But leave my soul to me and Henry's to Henry. I speak the truth in love. Enough! Mother. Mother. Mother, listen to me. Mother. 